you have entered the Chronix rabbit hole. And Louis Santa, thank you so much for your YouTube membership request and for bringing back down some Florence and the Machine. We are so excited for this one. All the Florence and the Machine lovers have been commenting about the Odyssey, and we are finally here. We are doing the first two songs from this full feature film. The first song is What Kind of a Man? And the second one being How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful. Thank you so much, Louis Santa, for bringing Florence and the Machine back down the rabbit hole. I can't wait to get into this odyssey. I can't wait to get into the odyssey and start off with the first song, which is What Kind of Man? And that's like the second song from this is How Big, how blue, how beautiful, and it's a cappella. I can't wait to get into both of these and kind of see what's going to go on with Florence and the Machine. Florence has such a beautiful voice, so to hear her yeah. sing a cappella oh, is going to be phenomenal. Um, I can't wait to get into this. If you guys are as excited to be here as we are, remember to head over to Florence and the Machine's channel, and give them a subscribe, show them some love, and like this video so that we keep doing the great content. Subscribe to us as well so you never miss a new video coming down the rabbit hole. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time because you all have been asking for the Odyssey since the first Florence in the Machine. Yeah. We're finally here with the full film. What I have found out is how big, how blue, how beautiful is the title of the actual album itself. So oh, it sounds cool. like we go through the whole album with this full film of the Odyssey. So I can't wait to see... That's directed by Vincent Haycock. So let's see what that's going to be like as well. Without further ado, this is The Odyssey, part one and part two. All right. I think around 13 minutes, y'all. Nice. Yeah. That's so cool. They did some of this. Pink Floyd ass. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Beautiful sky. I wonder where that is. Church right inside. Mm hmm. You can sure see that cross as we're zooming in. sound on too well. This can I go? There's a storm. That's a cool transition. Oh, nice. I heard you talking in your sleep last night. What were you doing? I was just, um, I was just watching. You seemed, uh, you seemed sad. Why didn't you wake me up? I didn't want to. I didn't want to intervene. It just seemed like you were you were suffering somewhere else, and I, I, I didn't think that it was my place to, to drag you out of it. So um, I just let let you be. So you just let me suffer. Yeah, I saw that going back. Yeah, you let me suffer. That's right. So you think that people who suffer together would be more connected than people who are content? Yeah. I do. Just suppose if you've been through something, like if you've been through something catastrophic, if you've been through like 
like a storm or an earthquake together or something like horrendous, yeah. you it would bring you closer together. Oh boy. You're speeding up to you. I like in this area. Oh. But what if they are creating the disaster within themselves? <laughs> Yeah, that's, the, that's what happens. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, she's always real, doesn't hide. And there's this big storm that's all around us, and we're in the middle of it, so it's calm, but it, you can feel it. gosh sorry y'all i think we got in a little trance there it was just too mesmerizing oh my gosh um they, that car crash damn um, oh man that that setup and and seeing that relationship and the way that she moved back but the way that florence investigates as well it's so intriguing as someone you want to talk to and get to know so badly and like the story here of this odyssey you just can feel the personalness of it i think Absolutely. or that's at least how powerful the art is it makes it feel that personal Absolutely. We know that Florence always talks about very personal things and like very deep topics. Yeah. I thought like, I'm not going to lie. I thought this um, car crash was going to happen sooner. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So because when th then it didn't happen. So I just sec I was like, oh, okay, no, everything's fine. And you kind of get into that. Uh, almost like a solace of things just being like playing out correctly, which is also what happens in real life. It does. It does. When they, when she first moved back, and he started speeding up in the car going down that uh, woodland road, I thought that's when the crash was going to happen. Right. And then it didn't. And then things played out and played out and played out. And then eventually, so like, because it was what they were talking about specifically was having all the suffering that was going on. If if only them. that could continue them on. And a lot of people even enjoy like make up sex and like they love that thrill of it. And you always saw them like still having that intimacy, yes. but then it was always not even looking at each other after. And you could see that division that was happening. And like I said, it can't just be suffering. It has to like yeah. have a balance and definitely a lot more good than just suffering. Right. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Yeah. So this is so powerful and what a way to, I think we got to go right before so then we can see the car crash and then experience it moving forward. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, so what kind of man? Oof. I can't believe it's been almost five minutes that's, already. That's what I mean. It went by so fast. So fast. Oof. Good one, Louisiana. Thank you so much for bringing this. What kind of man loves us?
just too incredible with the artistry right now. Like with what she's going through, probably she's maybe these are the people she's now slept with because of how bad the relationship is or something like that too, or whatever way you want to take it. And she's also in this AA meeting type of style. style. And now she's in the bed and she's trying to address her anger with these people that she can't really get a full commitment with anyways, until all her past is dealt with. And Absolutely. I, I think there's a lot like also going through such a trauma like that when you're with someone in a relationship that does only become such a physical and becomes a very, um, like a uh, suffering based physical relationship yeah. there is an addiction that forms to that as well yeah. which is like what kind of man loves like this because you're also questioning it questioning what you've gone through and the addiction to this form of love that you end up getting yeah well and said. then well going said. between um the inaccessible to try and find the accessibleness of that it's like an addiction it's like a drug yeah so um but then also not addressing your own angers and fears and pains because you're putting it externally and it becomes such a uh very much like this AA meeting when you're putting everything that may happen singularly together in one room to kind of view that extreme mm -hmm. tension that you're going through it's all of her artwork is just absolutely is great. great. And then this was also directed by Vincent Haycock. You can just see how fantastic he is as a director to even put these emotions into such a beautiful, almost like a, si it's like a silent film, but then she's behind it with that singing as well as the music video style. Yeah, absolutely. I get what you mean there. So like, this is top notch. Yeah, it really is award winning. It really is. Shout out to Vincent. Between the crucifix and the Hollywood sign, we decided to get hurt. Now there's a few things we have to burn. Set our hearts ablaze, and every city was a king. And every skyline was like a kiss of home lips, and I was making you a win. And every skyline, how big, how blue, how beautiful, how big, how blue. 
Baptism to be that, and that makes sense. Oh, beautiful. I think it's going to be going into another song. So. Yeah, I think right here is probably a good spot. Yeah. Okay. There you go. What kind of man, and how big, how blue, how beautiful incredible wow. and that was acapella i think uh louisana you also said that maybe it would be worth checking out the original version so we could feel the whole band behind her as well the machine so, with her as well but this is also really cool because that felt like a live type of a performance that we're did. so used from her as well and this is just mesmerizing to see how well they're blending in this um cinema mixed with this incredible music and not holding any punches as well so like once we saw that first scene we're like oh, okay like this is gonna be like, very oh. real it's gonna get really deep so i can't wait to see where this continues to go absolutely i love florence and the machine and kind of what they put forward and just how raw she is so yeah. like i keep forgetting that on youtube you can actually show like you can go mature yeah you can, you can go swear mature. And like, and I know you can swear, but I don't just <laughs> it was just, it, it's like, I wasn't really expecting something to be so like HBO cinematic in yeah. style as well. How times have changed. How eh? times have changed, like, especially with music videos, but this isn't just a music video. This is a full production value. Absolutely. It is. And that's why, like, I was wanting to, after the scene had changed, I wanted to kind of say, okay, well, let's wait with this one because it's getting into another story. Well, we can still push it back. No worries. Absolutely. But we're about to go into another other side of the story because we just witnessed the um the build-up the and then the car crash and kind of what's yeah, happening there yeah. and then seeing what a lot happened after the car crash and what happened after that and then yes. the allu alluding to going on that reflect that um going through the pain and looking for us that trying to rebuild recreate that love that you had 
but then finding it in all the wrong places and then the different types of men and the different types of people that you come around but men no specifically yeah, yeah, yeah. especially when you're meeting people when you're drunk or you're meeting people when you're no kidding. um within those vices you, and the impulses you definitely don't re- meet the right kind of people and you put yourself into these dangerous situations I agree. I agree. as well yeah and so um then going from there into then that self-reflective journey and being like, and that AA meeting style of screaming out, like, why is this happening? And doing that self-reflection yeah. and making the move to then go somewhere else from that. That was when she was going in for that baptism. And Very Big true. Blue were, uh, what is it? Big Blue, Beautiful. How big, how blue, how beautiful. How- how big how blue how beautiful yeah as soon as i heard that title i definitely thought of mother earth okay and yeah. how big and like the ocean and the sky how big definitely how blue, definitely because you definitely exactly, can think of the sky too right exactly yeah. that's exactly what i thought of and knowing florence and how connected she is and to how nature. grounded she is like with nature and yeah. everything yeah, yeah, yeah. it definitely when she got had that baptism that rebirth I definitely really felt that and in the song and I think it, this being an a cappella version of so it. So cool. As she's walking from the shock of the car crash into this new rebirth that she's had and Very then going true. into that where the sun has started shining, it's no longer dark. And then she was sitting there just in her shorts and it's the summer and like that's that rebirth. And I'm so excited to kind of see what happens next. No kidding. On the right? Odyssey. Yeah, this is so powerful. I didn't expect it to be this mesmerizing and yeah. I'm so happy for it. And Louis Santa, thank you so much for bringing this down. I'm sure you were very excited. And the Florence and the Machine fans have been definitely waiting for this one. So we're mm. so excited to have seen the first two songs on this and we're excited to see the rest. Hopefully you guys had a good time with us as well. We are now exiting the rabbit hole. Folks. Thank you so much, Louis Santa, for bringing Florence the Machine back down the rabbit hole. This has been amazing going through yeah. these first two songs. I can't wait to see the rest of this because this actually is a it's a forty eight minute total. Absolutely, like, almost a mini movie. So this is like just a quarter in, folks. Just a quarter in. I can't wait for this. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support. Give me a 10 count. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, one and three quarters. <laughs> One. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> well, we are now exiting the rabbit hole, folks. Thank you so much, Louisiana. And uh, I can't. My tongue stopped working. <laughs> 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 okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the very end of the video. And if you have not yet done this, here's an easy way to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to subscribe to the artist that you just heard, here's an easy way to do that as well. And if you are also interested in finding a video that you might like, just click here. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care. Bye for now.